what? Why keep it running in the car? Yeah. We're gonna tape this trip. Okay, that makes me want to leave me at home. Why? Danny boy. Howdy. What's up with you? Huh? I said, what's up with you? Oh, can't say it. How are you? I'm all right. Got my notes in here. I want to feel that tassel. It looks like a horse. I believe it is. Huh? She says she wanted to see that tassel on your hat. She said it I looks like horse it. hair. It oh. looks like horse hair. I believe it is horse hair. Yeah. yeah. It feels like horse hair. It is. Yep. It's pretty cool. It sure enough is. Okay. I'm gonna need something to eat. Bigger you would, because I just can't. See this, uh, we need some. I don't think it's going nowhere. Give me another piece. You know, I made some soup at home last night you'll love. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah, ain't no me in it. Give me that Then plate. I won't love it. Yeah, man, it's just vegetable. Nah. Eric made a big old thing of soup and brought it to me, and it was uh, celery, tomato, and hot water. Nah. Which sink did you pour it down? Huh? Which sink did you pour it down? <laughs> oh, well, this one's got a whole lot more vegetables. And it has no celery. A lot of dust. Like I don't know about when you cook with it. It's like uh, something to hold that down that reaches a long way. Like that. Should have dusted the dash. The dash That'll duster. do it. Damn dash duster. Damn, you're gonna have all my buttons covered. Jill. What are you typing up there? My whole dash. He's mummifying my dash. I believe that's gonna do it. Let me satisfy the law. Hmm? Let me satisfy the law. Alright. Let me. <coughs> Is that the uh, walkway? We the greenway? Yeah. Uh huh. and watch our mouths where he's going to have a hell of a lot of editing to do.
I'm going to have a hell of a lot of editing to do anyway because this thing only records for 30 minutes at a time. Oh, so you're going to cut it off and like... It's, it, start, it restarts by itself. Yeah, but I mean... Oh, so it'll, it, it's good for more than 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay. It'll, it'll record okay. I, I see. It'll record for several hours, but only oh, 30 cool. minutes at a time. So I don't know, need to be cussing like a sailor. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Well, I start to say I don't know if you know how to cuss like a sailor, but I do know. I know better than that. You do know how to cuss like a sailor. <clears throat> Jill's got the worst tongue of us all. I'll leave that one on. I'll tell you, I turn red every time I come over. I embarrass you? No, no, no. just blush. I hate that. Redheads don't wear blush. <laughs> Hear my alarm out there? What the the rock? <laughs> it ain't no rock. That's what I tell people. It ain't no rock. What is it? It's where a bolt has come loose that holds that center cap on. And it's rolling around inside that center cap. All this time I was thinking it was a rock. No, I tell people I put a rock in there to tell my grandchildren and my dogs I'm coming up a driveway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is I brought my good looks. Oh, if I need something, I'll just sit down. Oh, well, thanks. Okay, well, I appreciate your good looks, but I don't know if a person that register. Thank you. Thank you, Spanky. Do you like great food, Dad? You talking to me? Yeah. Do I like Greek food? Green food? Greek. Greek oh yeah. Yeah, like Euros. Mm, oh yeah. That log? that they cut that meat up of? Yeah. I want one of them log farms where they grow them logs. Yeah, some woman farm. Oh man, I'm telling you what, that stuff is so good. It was early on Wednesday, Sean Riley did travel. A spur in his heart, Sean Riley and whip. Kicking and raring. You look mighty pretty sitting back there, Miss Jilly, darling. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Let me hide. No. Everybody been asking to meet you. Oh, and by the way, folks, Miss Jilly Darling said she'd do my golf pull. Ha, 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 ha. No, she didn't. Yes, you did. You did on the way over at Dan's. Don't renege on me now. 
You said you'd do the draw. You said it'd be fine. Well, it's what you said. Well, see, this is not fair. You can tell me I said anything. Well, it is what and you said. And to be totally positive I did or didn't, well, who knows. All right. I have to keep working on it. She did say it, though. Thank you. My hands are greasy as heck. I wonder if there's a place where I can wash them. I got an idea of it. Take hmm? it or leave it. You know those blue towels? That, they usually have some... Uh, I mean, they're rough on your hands. stuff. That looks like a good idea. Right, Nissan. Huh? Okay, I have two parcels of this thing. Um we're still, oh, still yeah. running? Yeah. We're running? Okay, yeah. do not edit this. Fruitcake. Fruitcake. We're at Jim's fruitcake. Thank you so much. He gave me a pinch of this. In fact, some way, I don't know how it happened, on the way out the door, he put his cut into my box. I did not. You swiped it. Ha <laughs> yeah. We sat there and smoked some of it, and he swiped it. Swipey. No, he, call, he calls calls me. I thought when I got home, I thought, well, he'll be calling me. He gets home and he goes, did I give you both those bags of fruit cake? I said, yeah, but I gave one of them away. I thought he texted me back at me. I said, yeah, now I know you're messing with me. Well, I told you watch that damn coffee. Yep. Good thing he's got a lid. Good thing you're wearing so, pants you don't care about. How do you spell it? What, fruitcake? No. <laughs> that one I got down. His ants. His ants? No, it's Penzance. It's like that island that you were talking Was about. It's the same spelling. It's the same spelling. Is that, did it come from that island? No, no. No connection. Fruitcake. So I brought them both to let you pick whichever one you wanted. One's a tad bit bigger than the other. Well, I'll take it. I have bead coffee. I'm wondering if I should have done that for me tonight. Well, I really have to say, when we get up here, you can pee up here. They got a really clean bathroom. How far is it? Where is it? Thank you, sir. How come you won't answer that? I have answered you. I've told you it's on the other side of Nashville. Thank you. Well, that's kind of pretty. Smell of it. Yeah, it's wet. Oh, it's, well, that's outside. Smells bag. like Christmas has gone by. <coughs> Do you like fruit cake? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, I, I can't. Uh, I can't decide whether it's uh, more of a waste of fruit or more of a waste of cake. Shoot, I'm the only one that would eat Mimi's fruit cake. But that's good. Throw in a little backy. I love fruit cake. Voila. 
as they say in southern France, Viola. Viola. I think Mimi did a fruit cake that would like spice, tasted kind of like spice cakes. Yeah. More so than mine. It was the only time that she would ever. I think someone just got photoed. It was the only time that she would ever put a little bit of liquor in anything and then she'd lie like 40 about it. Was it rum? No, she put a little whiskey in it. She put a little old charter whiskey in that fruitcake. <laughs>
On Sunday the preacher was there for the funeral We planted old Sean by himself all alone There was no need in ending such a day on a bad note A nice wedding would kill us two birds with one stone She brought to the table brown gravy and biscuits She brought to the table black coffee and rye A song in her voice was like manna from heaven The smile on her face was a pearl to my eye I met my sweet Lola at the wake for Sean Riley I swore that I'd love her for the rest of my life we buried Sean Riley, it was early last Sunday, and that's when I made Lola Riley my wife. Went inside and talked to him for a second and wanted to make sure that it was okay if we uh, actually filmed and they said it was just fine as most places generally will. This is a place that Gracie and I accidentally stumbled on. It's called the Cigar Club. It's uh, one of the absolute neatest places that I have seen in a long time. Yo, just check this place out. They've got cigars galore. Of course, there's the front counter. The old cigar store Indian there. Got a table sitting right here where you can sit down and have you a smoke. And we've got so this one right here would be similar to the uh, yes. That's Lauren, so that y'all. Ain't she pretty? She's a good old girl. Patricia owns the place, she and her husband. And uh, Just the sweetest, Hello. sweetest people. They got tons of zippos. They got coffee. Quite a wonderful, wonderful Meerschaum collection here. I know we've got 14 of the little roses in two different colors. Absolutely beautiful place. This is one beautiful, beautiful humidor. Where's their t shirt? It's a great t shirt. You can buy me something. <laughs> we can, I guess. No, let I me just. I just want to try a little skinny cigar. Let's make things Is real quick crazy? for you. Madison, Tennessee, I think is. Here's all the information you need.
But check out that cool shirt. Isn't that neat? Let me flip that back around the way they had it. Isn't that neat? Now, let me go back around here. I would show you their uh, sitting area, but there's people over there that just might not want to be filmed. Now, look at this. Uh, look at this wall of cigars. of tobacco that you just don't see anymore like uh, well look at the Dunhill that they've got Got all three three nines. And this wall of uh, bulk that they have. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing some of the blends that they have in there. They've got uh, Medal of Valor. They've got McClellan's Black Cherry. They've got Balkan Supreme. I mean, just just to to read off a few, they've got Cornell and Deal Nutty Irish. I mean, it's it's. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven here. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here. We're gonna do a little shopping. And uh, we're going to drive home. We'll catch you on the drive home. Now, Mama. What? Guess what she got her. What? You got something? She got her a couple of little cigars. A what? couple of little cigars. Wow. Nubs are good for uh, people who don't smoke very often. I hear. Nubs. Yeah, that's what they're called, nubs. The little skinny ones? No, they're about that big around, they're about that long. Now, she got her uh, a vanilla, great vanilla, and an Eileen's Dream. TAO. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, you know CAO uh, makes cigars, and Eileen's Dream has cigar leaf in it. Did you know that? I did know that. One of my favorites. What's a beauty? 
He lost that dang meerschaum. Show it to her. Oh, here. Let me see that. Hmm? Ooh, ooh, I like it. Ain't it pretty? Yeah. And I really like that stem is pretty. Yeah, yeah. Is it going to change colors, though? Uh-huh. Yeah, it will, but they they those take forever to, to change. Well, this drives right. your granddaddy's skull right there. It'll do what? What are you smoking? What I smoking on the way up here. Oh really? Are we rolling? How do I tell what is what? What do you mean? I don't see where it says. Let me see it. That's the vanilla. Are we rolling? Yeah. We are rolling. We was rolling when we got in the car. Okay. Pure Latakia. Gross. Stinky Dan. I'm gonna be smelling like a house on fire. We smelling like the barn's on fire. Look at that. Say it might be worse than that. Yeah, little thing, I bet that thing's not uh I bet it's about 135 centimeters. I think about that looks about like it. That's me. That's very me. <laughs> Tobacco. 
tobacco that's burning too fast, it'll slow it down. And if you mix it with a tobacco that's burning too fast, it'll speed it it'll, it'll slow. It'll speed it up uh, ever so slightly, I'm sure, on both those accounts. But it uh, it kind of smooths out the errors of the two extremes, I guess. And also, it uh, softens the blow of a lot of flavors without adding any. Uh, by uh, itself. So I'm thinking, you know how uh, we were talking about Penzance and the and the thing that you know people say it's hard to describe. It's hard to describe. And I told you what I thought it was. The hard to describe part. Well, you can. My thinking is you can probably use that Maryland as a dialing down factor. Yeah. With with blends. Yeah. You know, that's why I'm looking for uh, a reasonable quantity of it to try to use it in that way. Cigar smells good too, Jill. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for you to try that uh, Eileen's Dream. Well, I'm gonna say something that's gonna get the the whole of YouTube laughing at me. I am uh, revealing so obviously how cigar illiterate I am with this comment, but my favorite cigar <laughs> is a Middleton Black and Mild. Really? Like them. Why would that make them laugh at you? It does taste like pipe tobacco. Yeah. Because it is, but.
out not too long ago and you had one of them It was early on Wednesday, Sean Riley did travel, a spur in his heart. I believe there's somebody back there who's just dying to kiss my ass. He won't get off of it. the blankest part of the wall I could find and I just heaved that hammer as hard as I could and it hit that wall and it bounced off landed in the floor and then there was a couple of 1970 Pontiac tail lights on hooks up there and one of them went wiggle wiggle, wiggle oh no no no, no 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 and it hit that ice cold floor and it just shattered and this is back before they repopped those things so this was uh uh, OEM and I paid 250 bucks for it oh. and man I'm going to tell you what I just stood there and looked at all those red flakes on the floor and I just chuckled that's all I could do yeah that's all I could do I think that's the last time I can remember having destroyed something cathartically and it, it, it fixed me on that I remember one night when I was at Firestone getting pissed off at uh, a crew that wouldn't just, I don't know what it was. It was the night of the Super Bowl, the night the 49ers, I think it was the 49ers and uh, Cincinnati Bengals, was it, was in the Super Bowl? Anyway, but the crew was watching the Super Bowl and they wouldn't come away from the TV. And I'd go get them out of the break room, get them back to work, and I'd go back there 15, 20 minutes later, and damn, they weren't back there again. 
watching the bowl. So finally, I just, I told him, I said, look, if you'll go out there and get your work done, you, you can go watch the Super Bowl and I won't say another word about it. So they went out there and did eight hours worth of work in two hours and 15 minutes. I knew they could get the work done. Well, they did and they got it done. And then all of a sudden there was an oil spill up on the Banbury. And I told them, I told two of them, look, we got an oil spill. And not a one of them would get up and go move it. So I went up there with uh, the equipment that I needed to do it. And I was working up there and the faster I worked, the more it'd spill out. And I reached down and grabbed a rubber mallet and threw that damn rubber mallet and it hit the side of that rubber milling machine and it bounced back and that sucker hit me right upside the forehead. Oh man. I mean, it hit me just as hard as I threw it too. Just pow, pow, just like that. Yeah. Well, once you know, this was on a Sunday. I didn't have to be back in until the next Tuesday, but every single one of them had a write-up waiting on them. <laughs> every single one of them. Yeah, I can't deny I have a slight temper myself. Um, have you ever seen it, Dan? It's called Jill Bill, right? <laughs> <laughs> Home again, home again, jiggity job. All right. Whoa, oh, I dropped something. I can't something. imagine what I got to pee so bad. Huh? I got to pee. There's a bush. <laughs> I peed right before we you left. You don't come in? nothing. No, I'll wait till we get on it. Oh, get this leg to move it. Yikes. Well, get on up here, jiggly darling. Is this your bag? No, I'm just going to stay put. Yeah, that's my sunglasses. Yeah, I'd, I'd be a bringing it back to you. Uh huh? I said, I'd be a bringing it back to you. Let me round everything up. I'm old Pop. Oh, you're going to get back here. I'm Bradu. Oh, and your coffee cup.